Hi, my name is Evie Gurney. I'm the costume designer for Women Beware the Devil, a new play by Lulu Ronchka at the Almeida Theatre. The play is set in 1641 and it tells the story of Lady Elizabeth de Clare, who's trying to save her historic family home. She elicits the help of a stable girl, Agnes, who's also accused of witchcraft and chaos ensues. I particularly enjoyed looking at this period because it's not often that you get to do a modern play that is also a period drama and this period is particularly fascinating for the silhouettes and a really voluptuous excessive use of fabric. So we've been looking at huge skirts, um, really rich fabrics, velvet, silk jacquards, um, ruffs, lace, all of these beautiful textural fabrics that uh, aristocrats used to wear to communicate their wealth and status. We're not trying to create a, a museum piece here, it is live theatre, so what we've tried to do is a playful, um, irreverent take on the period. I was very inspired by the late Vivian Westwood um, and her reinterpretation of historical fashion and also by Korean fashion designers like Minju Kim and the way they use volume and quite traditional fabrics in modern ways. When I started designing, the first context I had to design within uh, after reading the script was Miriam Buter's set design, which is a gorgeous, monochrome, geometric interior. And I wanted to play with the idea of who belonged to the house and who conformed to that orderly geometric image and who was a more chaotic, subversive, disruptive presence in the house. We looked at Renaissance paintings and their really specific use of colour and all of these beautiful characters with huge white ruffs against the black background and how they really pop out of the space. Agnes has a kind of almost alchemical journey where she comes from the mud and ends up through a process of transformations, becoming gold and really mapping that out through her costume, almost like seeing a flower grow through the cracks in the pavement. And her final moment is really quite ascendant. So I was looking at pictures of the Virgin Mary and this idea of a kind of very simple young girl who had become goddess-like. If you're interested in costume and you're interested in becoming a costume designer, the thing that I would say is practice looking. Practice looking at the way that people dress themselves, um, both in contemporary contexts and in historical contexts. Costume is storytelling through dress, and so everybody's got a story to tell. 